IATA figures show 5.5% growth compared to 5-year average pace of 11.1% Fabrice Coffre and Yafjadi Images Middle Eastern carriers posted a 5.5% increase in passenger traffic during August, well below the 5-year average pace of 11.1%, according to the International Air Transport Association IATA.The Middle East to North America market in particular has been hit by a combination of factors, including the now-lifted cabin ban on large portable electronic devices, as well as a wider impact from the proposed travel bans to the U.S., IATA said in a statement. It added that traffic growth on the segment was already slowing in the ARLY 2017, in conjunction with an easing in the pace of growth of non-stop services flown by the largest Middle Eastern airlines including Emirates. Capacity increased 5.1% during August, I had noted, with load factor rising 0.3% to 81.4%. Globally, IATA said that passenger demand measured in total revenue passenger kilometers or RPKs climbed 7.2% compared to the Arago period. August capacity increased by 6.3%, and load factor climbed 0.7% to 84.5% which was just below the record for the month set in 2015. Following the strong summer traffic season in the Northern Hemisphere, 2017 is on course to be another year of strong traffic growth. However, some important demand drivers are easing, particularly lower fares. As we head towards the end of the year we still expect growth to continue, but potentially at a slower pace, said Alexander de Juniac, IATA's Director General and CEO. IATA Aviation Gulf Airlines